My name's Adi and I live in Auckland. My name is Riley and I'm six years old and I live in Auckland. My name is Patrick. I'm six years old. I come from Auckland. Auckland. Said Auckland. <laughs> <laughs> In the river. I say, oh, I'm being a bad friend. The genesis of Destination Auckland 2025 was the realisation that Auckland really needs a story that people can relate to. This is not just about the visitor economy, not just about tourism. It's about the people who live in Auckland, who work in Auckland. It's really important that we take the first step. We can't expect this change to happen through other people. We've got to do what's right and lead that ourselves. This is a moment in time for us to take a stand for something that's really important. All of those involved in the visitor economy can take a lead on ensuring that we future-proof Auckland for the next generation of visitors, but also for tomorrow's Aucklanders. Auckland is unique and interesting. It's secure and safe and I also like the buildings. It makes me feel excited. I like to go to the beach. I like seeing the sky tower. The best swimming pools. Interesting. Within 30 minutes of the CBD, I can be climbing a volcano or walking in the forest or trolling along the beach with my children. It's an incredible place to call home and it's a great place to visit. Auckland's unique by the fact that it's one of the most diverse cities in the world. We've got a strong relationship with Tangata Whenua and Tamaki Makaurau. It's important that we value that, that relationship with Māori and we steward our environment in a way that accords respect to Māori tradition and expectations. Tamaki Makaurau or Tamaki Heringa Waka is a meeting place for people. Our ancestors did it and now we can showcase a city full of coastlines, countryside, culture, cafes and something that's quite unique is the fact that you can get close to locals very quickly. They're enjoying the environments that we get to show to our manuhiri or our visitors. Auckland is environmentally unsustainable. Auckland is unsustainable. Environmentally. Sustainability. Sustainability. This represents quite a groundbreaking change from previous visitor economy plans which tend to focus more on marketing. This is about the destination, this is about sustainability, about making sure that Auckland in the long haul is a great place. We've had massive growth in our resident population as well as our visitor population. So we need to keep an eye on those things and we need to invest in the right place in the right way to make sure that we don't put our residents off and our visitors off coming here because we make it a bit unpleasant and a bit hard because we're not taking the care that we need to. A stronger focus on how we manage this destination is critical to the success of the strategy. It's not at the complete expense of destination marketing. We need to continue to promote Auckland and make sure that we are looking at the right sort of target audiences, that we're going for high value visitors. But we have to look after the product in a better way than we have to this point. I've been on a bus and it has been fun. I ride on my bike and sometimes we go in my car. I've been on the train and, and it has been fun. Better connected city for visitors means that uh, when visitors come to our city, they'll be able to travel seamlessly and conveniently across the Auckland region. And part of that is having a fantastic transport system and very importantly, a really, really strong public transport offering within that system. The city is more livable, the region's more livable. People enjoy the time they have with their families and friends rather than stuck in their cars. When we grow up, we want to be a police officer. An artist. A professional soccer player. I might do comedy. <laughs> Tourism is New Zealand's fastest growing sector. 
It's fast paced, it's challenging, and that makes it a sustainable sector to work in as there's so many more jobs coming on board, we're gonna need lots of people to fill the roles. Auckland's a place where everybody feels included and has opportunities for great jobs, to interact with our environment, and to be part of a city that actually cares enough to ensure that people have the future that they deserve. Auckland achieving its vision of being an incredibly enriching and inviting place to be for its visitor is key to unlocking future value for international visitors and the international visitor economy in New Zealand. I think Auckland as a city could continue to look towards data for insight into who its visitors are, what they find attractive about this place and what they might like to do in the future. Tapping into that data set will enable Auckland to make choices around how to improve not just the visitor experience of the city but also the experience of the people who live in it. If we know what they like to do while they're here, how they like to spend their time, then we can be far more targeted about the visitors that we're looking to bring here. ATEED has a vital role to play and we'll be working with those involved in the visitor economy to hold each other to account and ensure that we deliver on what we know will ultimately be a long-term benefit to Auckland. If we achieve what we set out to achieve with this plan, Auckland will shine and it won't just be the waterfront and the CBD that shines, it'll be those various regions around Auckland that in some ways are hidden jewels which will be brought to the surface and, and visitors and residents alike will be able to recognise them and, and really celebrate them. It's a place where when you come and visit us you find us exciting and you find us challenging and you get around our beautiful city easily. You enjoy our wild places and you enjoy our thriving city centre and that's the kind of Auckland that we hope for.